Oh, this song is it's all about a little leaf. Oh, this is, yeah. Now get your fucking pints in the air now, just to hold your pints in the air and like, you, like you're with me. If you're not with me, you're somewhere else, aren't you? You're at Christmas, Nirvana heaven. Anyway, here we are. We're all together here. And this is a song about a little leaf that got trapped behind the windscreen wiper when we went to do a gig in London. We went to do a gig in London and we were like excited and enchanted about traveling down there to places where people had sex all the time and they, they had money coming out of the pockets just loads of money and and they, they talked they said they said oh, i don't believe you i've got a fucking shotgun and there's just stuff like that and you think my god and they all had money and shotguns and they all ate kebabs and we wanted to i wanted to smell that i wanted to smell the smell of cordite and fucking oil and kebabs and tarmac i wanted to listen to our accents and I wanted to see a film star, an old film star walking along that were really small, like John Mills. John Mills is only three foot seven. He's very, very small. He's like a little doll. I saw him at a fucking zebra crossing, like in a pinstripe suit. He was a little doll. I thought, you're on fuck, you're massive. You're a big star, but he was a little man. And it was fucking magic. He was a fucking pixie. So all these film stars are all pixies. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's four foot nine. Anyway, this song's all about a little leaf that got trapped behind the wood. We did this gig, we went down to London to play this gig and we were dead excited about playing in London and we drove through the wind and the rain and it was very warm for December. And then we roared down and we were, and we saw, and we got past Sheffield and we're back and we're down towards Leicester and the little leaf was still with us. We got all the way down to London and, and we got into London and I was so happy. I cried with joy, but I didn't cry. I cried inwardly. I didn't want to show my tears to my bandmates. I just cried inwardly. I was melting like a little fucking knickerbocker glory. And I, there I was, I thought, I'm here I am finally. Chelsea, Earl's Court. This is it, the kingdom. The enchanted kingdom where I'll be famous and people will look up to me and like you're looking up to me now and I've, I've got used to it now but back then I wasn't used to being looked up to and adored and worshipped you know back then I was just another Joe on the street I was just another guy there just making his way through life and now it's a different story I'm kind of strangely distant and I'm a part and I, I, I appreciate what you're doing out there and, and I feel for you got your fucking Christmas presents to wrap yet and I don't buy Christmas presents just people give me presents and I just say thank you and I sign it and then I just fucking give it back give it shit it's normally shit but anyway just you know, you know. anyway I don't want to tell you I don't want to fucking bore you but anyway when I was young and naive and I was 56 and life was a fucking cherry and I wanted to smell that cherry and grasp it and we did the gig in London and we were like you know it was so exciting and I thought oh there's Oh, I looked over and I could see somebody from, from a famous, an artist. I thought, oh, oh my God, it's Jeremy Della. Oh my God, it's fucking, it's, it's Damien Hurst. Oh my God, oh shit, he's watching me. Oh, I don't know what to do. I better just do this. Oh, I'm very shy. And I, I went, oh, and I went, oh, I was just melting in the joy of London. And then I did it, I did the gig and we got paid £460. We sold a load of CDs that night and we got back on the motorway and we're driving up the motorway and then we stopped for some petrol at the same It was like £185 for petrol and it was like, then there was fucking magazines and I, and I got some crisps and a fucking big bag, one of those big fucking big bags, you know, the, the £1.95 and Ben got some and Johnny as well. So, and we came back with 43 quid each, it was fucking... And I felt strangely thwarted. But anyway, I thought, no, the little leaf was still with us on the journey. It came all the way, it was there. It, was, it just stayed like a kind of impassive thing. It showed nothing. To, it didn't do anything, it just stayed. It was still, it was a little piece of living matter that wasn't living anymore. And it didn't fucking matter, but it was still there on the windscreen. And it, like, it was like, just going, Mick, it's all right. Look what's happening. Just calm down. You're anxious. You're going to get depressed and you don't want to get fucking depressed at Christmas. Because that just spoils it for everybody. Just put me out. So I wrote this song anyway. This is a song and uh, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this for a minute. Uh, uh, I'm going 
going to do this. I'm just going to do this. Uh, for a minute, that's what Kanye West does. He just does fucking 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to do this. And everybody goes, that's fucking amazing. That's just genius. He's not even speaking words. All he's just going, uh, I'm going to do this. Anyway, I've got to do this now. I'm going to write the fucking song that I wrote. Anyway, just write this. It's Bloody, I don't fucking know. It goes like this. I think it goes like this anyway.
fingered organ. Four letters. <laughs> <Cock>. <laughs> <laughs> I think the little leaf heard that as well. <laughs>